Memories of Captain Harry Subramaniam usher in words like luminary, pillar extraordinary, leader just, humorous, academic par excellence, mentor, distinguished and above all very approachable. Friends, Captain Subramaniam's untimely passing has come as a great shock to all of us. He was first my student and then my colleague and my friend. So it is with great sadness that I speak to you today. Captain Subramaniam was one of the stalwarts of the Indian seafaring community. His role in pre-seat training and his involvement in the post-sea higher maritime education of India, as well as the various books he has authored, will all remain his legacy. I will always miss his ebullient personality his ready laughter and his big smiles. Once classes were over, even with his students, he was just one of the boys. Captain Subramaniam's immense contribution to the maritime fraternity in India will always be remembered. My wife joins me in sending our sincere condolences to his wife Prema and to his children Uma and Harry. May Captain Subramaniam's soul rest in peace. This has been a very emotional time for me. So words fail me. Captain Subramaniam was my dear nephew, my sister's son, who followed me to the seafaring profession via the T.S. Dufferin. Suffice it to say that he has done me proud in great measure. God bless his soul. Well, thanks to Barrix Media for uh, putting together this uh, in memory of uh, late Captain Subramaniam. I think we all know him uh, in some fashion or the other. As far as I'm concerned, I had already passed all my COCs, so I did not have the pleasure of being taught by him. But at the same time, I interacted with him on many fronts, uh, especially when I was a trustee of MMERT, then our Edimidae Association, and of course, company of Master Managers of India. A couple of incidents which I can never forget about him were that he was master and I was deputy master of company or master managers. He almost let me, uh, I would say, run the organization as I wished. Not that I did anything which was uh, out of turn. I always consulted him. But he was so, you know, uh, trustworthy and uh, allowed me to just, you know, do what I thought was best for CMI. Another issue which I think is worth mentioning is that he would be coming to the Siemens Club to take classes, classes uh, on behalf of Board of Examination of Seafarers, you know, in this uh, 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 soft skills enhancement program and where he would be teaching or giving a lecture to ratings of different ranks and I would always show my amazement that you Captain Subramaniam you are so senior and you have you have taught extra masters and what, how can you come, to, come and teach these seafarer ratings 
So he says, you know, there is always things to learn even from these ratings. So that showed the person's ability and his desire to continue to learn all his life. Not only was he a good teacher, but he always took every opportunity to learn something new. There is so much of I could talk about him as a person, but I think there is limited time. And once again, I would like to thank Alex for putting this together. We will miss Captain Subramaniam. That's a foregone conclusion. But life moves on. I have lost a very good friend in Captain Subramaniam. He has been the best known teacher in the city of Bombay. A lot of people in the industry used to touch his feet. Mm -hmm. He has even taken lectures at shipping academy conferences, which is organized by Captain Kamal Chadha. After he retired, the first thing he did was to take over a ship as a captain and make a voyage to Europe with his steel cargo. I was the lucky one to charter that ship to load the steels from SR Steel when I was working there. I wish and pray that his soul rests in peace. Thank you. Captain Subramaniam was my father's brother and like my very own father. He was not only a super guru for maritimers out to sea, but he was a mentor for life. He had a solution for every problem and he boosted my morale in everything I did. His teachings and his Natural series, which he wrote and left behind, would go way ahead to bring future maritimers into this world. He embarked on the oceans. Today he embarks in the skies. And when he reaches the gates of Port Heaven, I'm sure he'll embark to write another natural series for people out there. Captain Subramaniam was indeed a great guy. We crossed path when he came to SCI for some command experience. SCI was able to provide such an opportunity. Captain Subbu, as he was called by his close friends, was quite outspoken. He did not mince words when it came to professionalism and marine matters. He was sincere and faithful to the core. He headed the Nautical College for many years in a very passionate and principled manner. Officers who passed under the arches of the Nautical College during his time will freely vouch for his professional ability and acumen, which not many could match. I take this opportunity to send my deeply felt condolences to his family members. He was too young to go. His maternal uncle, Captain Vanchishwar, was one year my senior, to whom I extend my special remembrances on this sad occasion. We pray that Captain Subhu's soul rests in peace. Amin. We deeply mourn the loss of Captain Hari Subramaniam, who was one of the strongest pillars and foundation of the Indian maritime education and training, which we have lost him. Captain Subramaniam will always remember as a pioneer of the Indian maritime industry. We are grateful for his many contributions to the seafaring fraternity and will always be remembered by thousands of seafarers worldwide. We always cherish his warm smile, soft words, and his great sense of humor. He will be missed, but will live in all the minds of those who had the privilege of knowing him as a mentor and guru. He was the most generous person always, willing to devote his time and expertise to the shipping industry. On behalf of Maritime of India, our heartfelt condolence to his family, we pray that God will grant them serenity, peace, comforts to bear this irreparable loss. May his soul rest in peace. Captain Harry Subramaniam, I will miss you dearly. You have been a great person, a teacher, a mentor, a guide. You have been the Chanakya of the Indian maritime industry. You have brought the levels up of education with your several books and well acclaimed knowledge that you gave all of us. You have left a void in our lives. This blue shirt I am wearing 
is in your memory. You like blue. I will miss you, sir. Adios. It's Subramanyam. Unfortunately, he is no more. After Captain Subramanyam took over the Lal Bahadur Shastri College as its principal, he invited me one day to the college to address the students attending the revalidation class. He escorted me to the class and on the way I told him, Captain, you are well known for your good lectures. But unfortunately, I did not have the privilege of attending any one of your lectures. So Captain Subhanam said, don't worry Captain, I am going to introduce you and after that I am going to tell them about the recent development. And after that I am going to sit through your lecture. I found Captain Subhanam's presentation excellent and uh, it was very friendly to the students and with a lot of humor. He sat through my lecture on Lloyd's London, offering his comments and interesting observations. After my lecture, we, he took me to the library. On the way he told me, Captain, I would like you to take marine insurance lectures for both masters and mates regularly and inquire whether I required any reference books. Took me to the library and introduced me to the librarian and told her that I would be taking marine insurance lectures regularly for masters and mates and that I would be using the facility of library as and when convenient to me. He then asked me whether I needed any reference books to take home. The librarian had already taken out a few books and spread them on the table before her. I looked at them and selected one that I did business and law for shipmasters. I told him that I would like to take that one home. Captain, Super Captain Subramanyam told the librarian to issue that book to him and when that was done, he handed over the book to me and he said you can use this as reference book, as reference book. Now chapter 14 of Hopkins has been the reference material for me for my lectures in various training institutes. master of the company of Master Marines of India. I was on the committee for fellowship. Our job was to process the applications received and select those who complied with the requirement. Captain suggested that we meet once in his residence. He had also called Sudhir of Company of Master Mariners with the papers. I also attended the meeting. The meeting was very brief, followed by lunch. And what a delicious lunch cooked by Mrs. Subramanyam herself. I will never forget the hospitality offered by Mrs. Subramanyam and Captain Subramanyam. But what I remember most is three large showcases full of various mementos and awards received by Captain Subramanyam from time to time. That Captain Subramanyam is no more. May the departed rest in peace. With a heavy heart and much grief, we bid goodbye to a titan. Captain Subramanyam left us for his heavenly abode on the 29th, leaving behind not only a grieving family, but a grieving maritime fraternity as well. Somebody with sharp intellect, a great sense of humor, and an unparalleled commitment to teaching. Captain Subramaniam touched the life 
of countless mariners. Sir, we'll miss you. And I'm certain that such a titan, such a wonderful human being, can only rest in peace. On behalf of the Institute of Marine Engineers, the Governing Council and all our members, please accept my heartfelt condolences. Namaskar. No amount of words can do justice to Captain Subramaniam's ability, contribution and impact on the entire industry and whatever stated will never be able to even come close to what his entire persona was. He was a teacher par excellence, a very kind and a complete human being, an extremely affectionate and a wise elder and above all a representative of the entire maritime fraternity. We all have lost a very big icon, one who was always integral to the industry and will always continue to remain so. He will be forever in our hearts, inspiring, encouraging and leading us for all times to come. We pray for his soul to rest in peace and may God give enough strength to his family to bear this irreparable loss. It saddens me that today I am paying Tribute to one of the precious gems of maritime industry, Captain Subramaniam Sir, who passed away. He was a great leader, a great teacher, a great motivator, and was also a master of CMMI. This is a personal loss for me. I met Captain Subramaniam, at the beginning of my seafaring career, when we all came to LBS College for competency examination, he had solution of all questions and subsequently he wrote the book which was famous all around the world, Nutsell series. This was the vision of the exceptional leader and visionary, not just Captain Subhan Sabha has left behind his legacy for many generations to come through his books. I want to convey my deepest sympathy for his wife and children. I can imagine their grief and want to let them know that we all stand by them in this difficult time. Please join me in praying for his soul by saluting his contribution for seafarers. You will always be remembered with a smile and great pride, sir. We salute you. Late Captain H. Subramaniam, a legend in his lifetime in maritime education and training, was a great personality who was knowledgeable, down-to-earth and full of empathy. Practically all mariners, including myself, have been associated with him since our second mate's days. A couple of years ago, I had a great opportunity to be with him on the same flight to Hong Kong. I was heading for China and he was going to Vietnam. I managed to get a seat next to him and all the way he shared his experiences at LBS College and TS Chanakya and spoke a lot about the difference in working at a training establishment and a ship management company. May his soul rest in peace. He will always be fondly remembered. Passing off Captain Subramaniam has been a big shock and terrible loss to us. He was a teacher, mentor, a humorous and a very lively person, a guide and much more to us. His books will inspire generations to come. Captain Subramaniam can never go away. He will live on forever for the whole shipping fraternity. My condolences and prayer for the departed soul. I know Captain Subramaniam since 1986 onward. His books on radar and meteorology helped me a lot during my second mate exam. He was a great inspirational 
and motivated teacher. He used to ignore the shortcomings of the student and motivate us by building the character, by, by putting a lot of trust in the ability of students. He has said that a teacher may lead in the class, but the student will lead the world. He once told me that you are not here to learn only how to run the ship, but also you have to learn how to run the shipping. So he was a great motivator. He used to teach from his uh, heart, not from the mind. He used to love teaching and that is why he inspired us to love learning. In 2015, he, there was an incident, there was an occasion, he was taking a meeting in CMI in Patna, when that time the master and the secretary of CMI from Bombay, Captain Mohan Naik and Captain Philip Matthews told me to send me the report. So I, I wrote uh, just the text message. I have forgotten that time that I can attach photo and send it. And I wrote that I cannot send the photo when uh, he asked me. So immediately Captain uh, uh, Subramaniam called me and told me that have you taken photo? I said yes sir. So why don't you attach on WhatsApp and send me? So I said yes. That time I had forgotten that I can send the photo on WhatsApp. So he said that uh, I have to keep teaching you all the time. So that was his love that his students should know the finest thing. He used to call me if I write something which was not uh, in good taste on WhatsApp post and then he used to call me and tell me that uh, this is not the way to express. You write it like this. So it shows the love and affection that he has with me, with everybody. I wish that he gets moksh, his soul rest in peace. Thank you, sir. The tragic news of Captain Subramaniam not being amongst us has left a big void in the entire shipping fraternity. His loss was just not the loss for his family, but for the, his extended families of sea, thousands of seafarers and the shipping fraternity. And he will surely be missed. Captain Subramaniam was a sort of an all-time, all-weather friend of the seafarers. And he always gave that comfort level wherever he was there, wherever he represented, wherever his views were taken. So everybody around were very comfortable in his presence that now Captain Subramaniam has come in, so we will, you know, that comfort level was there. Friends and colleagues, he is not there amongst us physically, but by his books, by his literature, which he has written, by his training books, he will continue to be there. The legacy which he has left behind, which has benefited presently the seafarers, will continue to benefit the seafarers for a long time to come. We convey our deepest sympathies to his family and to the extended family of Captain Subramanian in grief. Monday morning. 29th of June, I was woken up by a phone call from Captain Joseph, followed by that from Captain Manchishwar, informing me of the most unfortunate demise of our Guruji, Captain Subramanian sir. I sat numbed on my bed with tears flowing, just didn't know what to do. Just the previous day was relaxed, thinking that Captain Subramanian had come off out of it when it was informed that the saturated oxygen level had reached 94%. What an amazing personality, brilliant, an astute administrator, extremely positive, very humble and always willing to work the extra mile to help anybody in need. We will miss his exuberance, wit and ever smiling personality. I was a student from second mates to extra masters. He had the unique knack of explaining the most difficult subject in the simplest manner that would one would never forget them with the principles clear, would make the driest of subjects very lively and interesting. His humility was personified by the numerous times he gave our students lift at LBS College in his car over 30 years ago. He maintained a personal touch with his students. He was very dear to me with his concern for me during my challenging times. My heart swelled with pride when I would see his books being used all over the world. 
especially when I saw it at the Nautical Institute in London and the World Maritime University at Malmo. <clears throat> we in SCI were very privileged to have Captain Subramaniam to sail with us as master. Once, when he was about to join our cadet training ship Vishwakarma, I just told him, Sir, I know you will look after extremely well after our cadets, but please, the ship also matters. He laughed loudly that the entire floor was baffled and puzzled. That tenure of Captain Subramaniam was one of the best with lot of appreciation from all around. As the past master of the company of master mariners with enormous experience, Captain Subramaniam would guide me always when I was the secretary as well as the master of the com honorable company of master mariners. Once in March 2018, I called him for an interview for our command journal. He was very pleased that particular uh, interview will stand in his memory in history. My last interaction with Captain Subramaniam was on 18th of May 2020 when I queried about his health and welfare in these lockdown conditions and his reply in his style was, we are safe. Imagine saving the country by just staying at home. Be safe. Captain Subramaniam, sir, you have devoted your life for us. We will not allow you to leave us. This void can never be filled. It broke our hearts to lose you, sir, but you did not go alone. A part of us went with you that Monday when God took you home, sir. My pranams always, sir. I've always been in awe of Captain Subramanian. Though I have been a student since 1983 when I began my seafaring career, it was only about 12 years ago in fact, April of 2008, that I began an actual association with him when he joined our office as the Marine Examinations Consultant. It was indeed a very, very proud moment for me to be working alongside a legend of the maritime world. He was in our office as late as March of this year, just before the lockdown. As I began to know him on a personal level, my respect for him grew many, many folds. He was so meticulous in everything he did. He always aimed for perfection. And what really inspires me is his down-to-earth mannerisms. He treated everyone with respect as an equal and always, always had a very nice thing to say about anyone that he met. He would often bring idlis and rasam to our office to share with us. And as we sat down uh, during our lunch break or coffee break, he would always also have a funny anecdote to share with us. Whenever I think of those sessions, it brings a smile to my face and lightens up my day. I'm going to miss you, sir. I'm really going to miss you. May God be with you wherever you are. Thank you, Delphi and Marex, to give me an opportunity to pen my thoughts about Captain Subramaniam. Uh, first of all, I was honored at three occasions to be in the company of Captain Subramaniam. Once when he was my guru teaching in LBS Nautical College. Second time when I was a faculty there and he was my principal and colleague in LBS College. And third time when he was teaching for about six months after his retirement in MMTI and Dairy. At all these three occasions I found Captain Subramaniam very supportive, very jovial and down-to-earth person, ready to help at every moment. 
he was called one of the pillars of maritime education along with captain tk joseph and captain devari when we were students we were only referring maritime books written by foreign authors for the first time captain subramanyam through his nutshell series introduced maritime textbooks which are very simple and in a very easy to understand language till now all his books are being used by marine students appearing for their examinations by his death we have lost a very able maritime trainer in particular and a friend of shipping industry in general all i would say that he was a jolly good fellow we are passing through very difficult times to which unfortunately we have lost a doyen of our maritime education fraternity captain subramanian's contribution to maritime education and training in india and even abroad remains unparalleled i have studied under him for my second mates mates and masters his lectures were always interesting and he kept the students focused in his class with his brilliant humor he made the subject simple and easy to understand for the students i still remember his lecture on ships stresses where he explained in simple language using a beam his contribution to our industry is raising the bar of indian seafarers with his nutshell series of textbooks the trinity of captain joseph captain revari and captain subramaniam strode like a colossus over the indian maritime education sector consequently over the last 30 years indian officers have gone on to dominate the world seafaring stage i also had the privilege of interacting with captain subramaniam when he was a captain superintendent of ts chanakya principal of lbs kamsar and master of the company of master mariners of india he was a dynamic administrator and quick to make decisions his decisions were always however laced with compassion towards those affected by them i remember having remarked to him in 2013 when he received the outstanding contribution to maritime education and training award on national maritime day sir you should have received this award at least 10 years ago and today you should have been receiving the varuna award my heartfelt condolences to his family and may god grant them the strength to bear this irreparable loss may his soul rest in everlasting peace while his physical self has departed from this world his teachings will continue to inspire generations of seafarers to come captain subramaniam was one of the finest human beings i have known with extraordinary talent and ability his death is a great loss to the marine fraternity he spent several years of his life for the promotion of the lbs college and like a true statesman he will not be around to tower over it any more he was an institution by himself and a father figure to everyone i recall one of his favorite words if you write my name in paper it will be torn 
if you write it on a rock, it will decay. But if you write it in the student's heart, it will remain forever. The sad demise of Captain Hari Subramanyam was very shocking. And for me, it was a personal loss also. It is a great loss to the maritime industry as he was a guru of entire maritime fraternity. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to write a foreword to my forthcoming book on Blue Economy. And we did discuss a lot of things that day when he called me on 3rd June. Mm -hmm. And he asked me a lot of questions about Blue Economy and things like that. I was surprised at that age and that seniority he was willing to know about new subject, willing to support, help the author like me. Although his publication on his mother's mm -hmm. name, Vijaya Publication, has not published any other author's book. And he told me, you will be the first author of which we will publish the book of. I was so proud. And so was he. He was ready to help. He asked me a lot of things. And, you know, whatever I could answer, I answered him. It's a personal loss. He was also a member of Maritime Fraternity Group, the group which is the umbrella of all the maritime interest in, in country. And he was a silent supporter. We would always consult to him. He would come back to us with a lot of suggestions. And it's a loss. It's a great loss to Maritime Fraternity Group as well. I am deeply saddened. Indeed. It's a great loss for the complete matter of industry, the loss of Captain Subramanian. Uh, Captain Subramanian was a working encyclopedia on the matter of education and training. He was also the brainchild of Indos, what uh, Indos is today, the number of database of seafarers, what we have, it's all. Just because of Captain Subramanian, uh, it, he implemented this. I vaguely remember in 2001 when I had been to LBS to meet him up and he just told me why don't you set up this particular Indus system in, in Chennai and help us, help the seafarers there so that they don't have to travel all the way to Mumbai. And just uh, it was my courtesy visit and I agreed on it and he took personal care and he took me to the auditorium there and told me just sit here and let me take you through this process. He ran through the process, came up to his cabin, just typed a letter fast and told me, this is your letter, now please go back to Chennai and just start implementing this and help the seafarers there so that they don't have to come. I salute him, I think uh, we miss you, sir. Your motivating words would keep ringing and keep inspiring us. You will be remaining a hero of every seafarer, Captain Subramit, sir. God bless. Om Shanti. The Rewari family is so deeply saddened by the loss of dear Captain Subramaniam. The lives of both our families have been inextricably woven together over the years, both on a personal and professional level. As colleagues, friends and beyond everything, teachers with a shared mission, Captain Rewari and Captain Subramaniam together worked and formed a bond which would leave an indelible mark on the Indian maritime community. We will so dearly miss Captain Subramaniam's endless positive energy, his love for life, his humorous stories and his unconditional love for all those around him. It is hard to express the depth of sorrow that we are feeling and we are still in shock regarding his sudden departure from us all. Yet, we celebrate a life dedicated to the upliftment of seafarers, a life lived so fully that he touched and enthused all who had the honour to know him, a life which leaves behind a legacy which will continue and which is priceless. Always remembered always cherished our thanks for your light which has guided and will continue to guide so many ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters it's been nearly a week since my father captain harry subramaniam decided to take up a new voyage to port heaven in his usual style he chalked up his own passage plan 
arranged his own port clearance, took the wheel, piloted his vessel out and gave RFA. The last week has certainly not been easy for either me and my family. And when I say family, I also mean each and every one of you listening to this. The love and support that continues to unabatedly pour in is something that words cannot describe. Let's talk about dad. Dad was a self-made man. He lost his father at the tender age of eight in 1950. In spite of not having a father from an early nurturing age, the person dad became was absolutely inspiring. His values, his ethics, his unwavering sense of justice and fairness. The fairness I mean is equality. Please don't go down on one knee. His positivity in life to take whatever comes head on with gusto and conviction. With that dazzling smile on his face and twinkle in his eyes. That was all him. He would move heaven and earth to help people. Right from arranging hostels for students, accommodating them for fully booked courses, paying for some needy students, giving servants bonuses during this pandemic. I really cannot keep track. We have received over 5,000 condolence messages and each one is a master masterpiece by itself in terms of the unique equation he has had with each and every person. He still commanded respect. He showed us the difference between demanding and commanding respect. And whilst he was so loved, he was a strict disciplinarian. I still remember the silence in awe and everyone freezing in their tracks out of respect whenever he passed the LBS college canteen. Beyond every successful man is a woman, and I have to salute my mother, Mrs. Prema Subramaniam, without whose support, dad would never have had the constant bolster, nor the freedom on his quest to fully be who he wanted to be. Thank you, mom. I've often said, dad, why are the books so low priced in comparison to other nautical publications? And without batting an eyelid, he said, it's all about providing affordable and quality education to seafarers. They have to spend many months ashore without pay and have to spend hard times in getting their COCs. This is the least I can do. As much as one would like to think that this is a lucrative cash cow, I can assure you to the contrary. It is hard work, but that was his sole way to realize his dream. We, the family, intend to continue keeping his legacy alive via these books and keep them updated as dad would have done. Like he used to always say, the show must go on. Captain America said, I can do this all day. But then that's the nutshell I have for you now. Thank you again for all the love and support. And I'm sure that we will always be blessed by dad and have his support wherever we are. Bon voyage dad. And we will always love you. Captain Subramaniam has been such a giant in the Indian Merchant Navy. In a manner of speaking, his contributions form almost the genetic basis of our industry. Much has already been said about him, friends. All I would like to add is that to honor his memory, let us install a bust or something of a similar a permanent nature, like a Hall of Fame at T.S. Chanakya, so that the generations that follow us do not forget this giant who walked amongst us.